it's a little dead meme. Fortnite like and, whoa and Charles the Second of character? Spain. Oh, oh Charles the Second of Spain. He's just a guy. Yeah, <laughs> Charles the Second of Spain's on SpongeBob SquarePants. He's a good character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved him. He was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing yeah. character. <laughs> we were just talking about the Hello friends. We were just talking about Charles the Second of Spain. Well, because Sweeney was talking about inbred Europeans from back in the day and how unconventional and well, i.e. I terrifying they look. Uh, and Unconventional dude, is such a nice way to put that. Right. <laughs> That's so respectful. Maybe some of you have heard this guy, uh, Charles II of Spain, because his family were just so insanely inbred that this guy, <laughs> look up a picture of him. He looks insane. And I just want to read a little <laughs> piece of his autopsy. So it says, yeah, his heart was the size of a peppercorn, his lungs corroded, his intestines rotten and gangrenous. He had a single testicle black as coal and his head was full of water. <laughs> Yo. Just, this guy somehow <laughs> lived for a while. <laughs> like, he, he grew up. I was, and he was eating something. Now my appetite's gone. How old? Why, uh, at, how old was, was he when he died? Let's see how old he was when he died. Um, you said he had water in his head, and my appetite disappeared. <laughs> my appetite <laughs> fucking left. Uh, wow, he died at thirty nine, or right uh, before his, uh, just uh, five days before. So he died at thirty eight. So he that's pretty Dang, that's dude. pretty good for someone that fucked up. <laughs> that's not bad. It really makes me question, like, is health real? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I feel like it, it, it reminds me of those. It reminds me of those episodes of uh, what is it, My Strange Addiction, where where like some lady would be eating like mattress foam. And I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know how real that shit is. There's a lot of fake reality TV, but mm. I know at the very least because of certain like hoarders is definitely real. You know, kitchen nightmares is definitely real. Like th these are like there's some fake aspects to like the production of it, but it's all real right. shit. So like I look at that stuff and I'm like, are people really eating like steady diets of like fucking mattress foam and just surviving? Because if that's the case, how the f like why should I like why am I going to feel bad about having like McDonald's at two a.m. if there's somebody surviving off of mattress foam? You know what I mean? You, like do I you can't. Feel like do you feel like some <laughs> of it is? mind over matter do you feel like there is a portion of it like say in the way that you can live for quite some time now i know there's a there's a there's an overlap where you'll be completely unaware that you've had cancer then you become aware and then you become decrepit like super fast now i know there's an overlap because the overlap is by the time you notice that you had cancer that was when you start feeling terrible usually you start feeling the actual symptoms of like oh i have ravenous cancer so then you were already on the ravenous. decline but like right. but still usually people being aware of it it just it just it just they collapse immediately and is there something to eating terrible fucking food all the time and still thriving because i'm jealous like why is it when i eat a pizza my acid is just absolutely just ravaging my throat I don't want to do anything. I feel like I need to go to the hospital. Like if I like, like you, you know, know like, why? You know why? 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 Because somebody told you. It's because somebody told you it was bad, and now you've made that true. See, I, I don't know any of that stuff. I don't know anything about that stuff. I could, I'll eat a pizza in the morning, and I, I'll feel totally fine. You know. Now you've made that no issue true. at all. Now That's probably made it, that man. True. There was a while where, like, my blood pressure would go throughout the, up the roof if I would eat, like, half a medium pizza, like, you know, like, four slices or whatever. And I'd be like, man, I feel yeah. fucked up. But then I'm seeing some, like, some of my friends. Like, one of my friends is, like, at 100 billion pounds. And that dude's just, like, living. And I'm like, why? How? How How come he's just, like, not... If I was his size, there's I would be dead. I would be 100% dead. But he can do it. Yeah, I would kill you myself, probably. You want him to be dead? 
No, I don't <laughs> do want, want him to be dead. I'm do you want to have consequences? Do you want him to be like, I'm fucking done. I'm done with you just fucking living by, screwing by free. You need to fucking feel the pain. <laughs> I'm just wondering why I can have some carne asada nachos and then I feel like at the end of it that I may die. Like there, there's a there's a part of it Jeez, where I'm like, you have yeah. that bad levels of indigestion. It's not that bad. That's horrible. <laughs> Look, it's Cardio bad. Sada nachos aren't even that bad. It's just cheese and meat. If it's that, bad. it's a lot of oil from all the cheese. A lot of oil from all the fucking uh uh the fried chips, the tortillas. Like it's, you know it's crazy, extremely unhealthy. But Lily and my Lily and me have been like Lily's particular have been gone on a very serious like health kick, and then like me. I live with her, so I have to. I don't have a choice in the matter anymore, unfortunately. So we ate like a lot of greasy stuff yesterday, and we felt like shit all of yesterday, which is really unfortunate because I miss eating. I want to eat chicken so bad all the time, but I've just been eating grilled chicken lately, and it's making me sad. Oh, so you mean you want to eat fucking crunch. fried chicken all the time? That's what you mean. I want. I love fried chicken, dude. It's yeah, good. Yeah. I, I like mean, when it crunches. Yeah. It makes me feel How like it's surprising when I'm eating it. <laughs> <laughs> hate me all you want. Hate, 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 hate what I am. It's good food, right? I really, yeah. I really have never understood. I, st- I know we've talked about this on the show. For, it's I'm bullshit, sure yeah. we have, but like, I, I really, I really just don't understand that stereotype at all. Even who Koreans have fried chicken, like, bro. But who the fuck doesn't like it? Like, who no doesn't one. like it? I Lily met somebody. Like that much. I met someone. See, that makes me distrust her. Like, I met somebody you know, that you know, like you know why? Chicken. You know, you know why she doesn't like fried chicken because she's she's too busy drinking her own piss. <laughs> that's what that's what the that's what the problem is. I mean, hey man, those things tend to correlate. Like, hey, you don't know, like fried chicken? How much do you like piss? Uh, more than I probably should. Yeah, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Actually, more than fried chicken, that's for sure. That's I think. think yeah, I don't know, punch. man. Do you got a piss? Can I come and piss on you right now? <laughs> She's gonna get so fucking mad, dude. She's already so fucking Good. over that joke. So, sorry, She's uh I, I was even thinking about we gotta drop some uh. Some merch for her, like something like Piss Queen or something. No, we cannot. Like thinking- that's not nice. That's not nice. Come on, that's fucking. It's really funny. Don't get me wrong. Like, There's a picture of her with just a jug of piss, drinking yeah, just, it. That'd just, be really just, fucking funny. It's like she's one of, it's, balancing it's an like entire one of her five photos. gallon jug. Was that? It's like one of her yearbook photos. <laughs> it's like a genuinely like nice little portrait, and then it just says Piss Queen. I've heard it. And it just piss. says piss That'd be queen. really funny. But that would have really hurt her feelings. <laughs> she'd be like, she'd be like, oh, that was funny. I'm glad you guys are having fun. And she'd walk away. And I'd be like, honey, are you okay? She's like, yeah. Why is she? Yeah. Didn't, why? Well, why wouldn't she embrace what she like? Why? Why? Why is she so offended about the thing is, that she actually Derek, does? Derek, Derek, for what? a moment, think of how not nice it is to make merchandise with a picture of somebody drinking pee on it. <laughs> and then it literally being a person like Lily, who's just not a mean person. He's just a being. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're that. We little, should make King Charles. We should make. Tank, right? We should make Charles. I have pictures we should of make Charles of Spain on, merch. Drink pee. <laughs> I, I. That's unironically kind of dope, actually. Just because who has yeah. that? Who has merch of King Charles the Second of Spain? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? Uh, why not? Uh, yeah, why the fuck not? He's just a person that's in public domain. Like certain people you can't do shit like that for. He's just a nigga no, that dude, existed no way. fucking like 300 years ago. Do you think he has the think relatives about, th- left? Th- it doesn't uh, matter. Not. Kingston, think about this. Think about this. Think about this. Not that guy. Yeah. There's merch there's merch with George Washington out. You know what I mean? Like we can definitely have merch of King Charles. Yeah, oh, but George sure. Washington's open game, bro. We should. It should be what what it, and it should be completely like say all it is it's just a it's just a, a nice picture of him or well, well nice is kind of you know what I mean. Yeah, the nicest. It's, like, it's not he's not going to it's just a a good quality photo of this thing and and then and then just our logo. And then that's it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it'll just it. be him, and underneath it, underneath it, it'll it'll have text that says, "This is you." <laughs> this is you. This That's is so you. Crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking so, stupid. That's fucking retarded. But we're getting, anyway. we're getting it mocked up. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Anyway, I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. Yeah, welcome to the show where we talk about inbred <laughs> British Spanish kings. I don't know what the fuck his his whole deal was, but 
Nothing's. I don't think anything. I think a lot happened last time we recorded. Not much is going on now. There's really very, very little going on. Like Hell Divers is exploding, and that's kind of cool. But like, that's not really a conversation for this show. I don't think any of us have really pl- like. I played it a little bit, but I don't think Sweeney has. I don't think Derek. I has. haven't played the second so, one. I only not played really the much first to talk one. about. That, uh, that's what I was really. Dude, it's, it's, I was really surprised that like, cause literally, I I cause I I got Hell Divers for free one time just. It was one of those bundled things. Here, you get a bunch of free games. And I was like, this game's pretty cool. And I I was like, I don't think anyone played the first one. And I, I was feeling kind of like, oh, you know, this is kind of fun. I think, you know, then Helldivers 2 comes out and kind of just fucks. Just, just, I've never seen, have you, I've never seen anything get this much love. And then also something gets so much hate as far as Halo goes <laughs> at the simultaneous, like, time. You know, it's oh, like yeah, yeah. this shit, this shit fucking rules, and it's like fucking Halo. What the fuck you could have done? So, you know, it was. I was like, yo, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, dude, balance. it's it, it's because it's you know it's that that missed opportunity thing where it's like because Helldivers is literally, dude, it's it's literally. I mean, it is Starship Troopers also, but like it is Halo as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like it is, mm. it is so unabashedly Starship Troopers and Halo, and a little bit of like Earth Defense Force mixed in there for good measure. And all these developers coming out, I was like, yeah, I worked at 343 and, and Microsoft, and there were like 20, there was like something 20 to 30 uh, ODST style games pitched over the last 12 years that they just never bit. They never, they never greenlit, and one of them was very, very similar to this, and it's like, cool. <laughs> you, uh, like, Thanks, guys. You really <laughs> fucked up in, a, in, a, <laughs> in such a crazy way. But, I mean, dude, it's, I've, I've been playing it a little bit. It's, it's fucking awesome. It is so... Nice. It is exactly the dumb fun that I feel like has been missing for a long time. In uh, well, not missing for a long time. It's been kind. Of, it's kind of been coming back with like Lethal Company and Deep Rock Galactic and and these kinds of and left. It, it's very much like this Left for Dead style thing where it's just like yeah, mm-hmm. jump on with the homies and have a good time. And it's not super complicated. It's it's it it's just complicated enough to be engrossing, but not so overcomplicated that you feel like fucking bombarded with a bunch of bullshit. It's fucking great. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this. I mean, this is undoubtedly probably. It's probably too early to call it, but I would. I would imagine this is probably game of the year. I, I would. I would. I. Oh, really? I don't imagine anything. Oh wow, going. you think so? Yeah, it's just. It's. It's. I think so. I think it's just such an un. Uh, if if they don't fuck it up, in the short term, which is possible, I do think it, because th- this, the growth that this game has had is insane. Like I don't even. I don't know if you saw, but it like. Helldivers has, like, a higher, like, it broke all the records for, like, highest peak or highest concurrent player count. Like, even including, like, Grand Theft Auto V and shit, which yeah. is really nuts. It beat BG3 yeah. as well? It beat Baldur's Gate 3 by a lot. It beat, um... Because uh, I, I know Baldur's uh, Gate 3 for Steam had the highest, had the highest until, like, it was, it was the one that recently had the highest. It was the one that had the highest recently, but it, it was never the highest, highest of all time. It was just like the thought, highest of, of the... games that had. No, oh, uh, yeah. uh, highest. Let me see. Highest. I, I mean, I could verifiable. be mis- mistaken. Highest Steam uh, concurrent. Uh, yeah. Uh, most. So the highest ever was Counter Strike 2. Uh, that makes sense. With <laughs> that makes sense. an all time peak of 1.818. One, 1. Basically, almost two million that concurrent is insane. players. Insane. Yeah, which is that's nuts. And then underneath it is Dota two at one point oh, two million. Ooh. And then underneath that is Helldivers. Wow. Underneath that is Helldivers with I think four hundred and nine thousand. Then underneath that is Pal World, and then like Baldur's Gate three is number eight at uh, an all time. So maybe peak. it was just of that year. It was the highest, uh, I imagine. It was kind of that year. Yeah, yeah, or so, something like I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to read it. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3 was nothing to joke at either, but it's, uh, I do, it's just such an unprecedented amount of success for a game like this for the first time in like a really long time that I, I would have to imagine that it's going to dominate the conversation in a way that it normally wouldn't um, if it was just sort of okay. Mm. It's fascinating. It might be too early to tell. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I don't it know if anything else is of any consequence that's really coming out this year. I think uh, so. I think Dragon's Dogma Two is going to be awesome. Final Fantasy and, is come out. Oh, right? Final Fantasy. Well, I think Final Fantasy is going to yeah. get snubbed for sure. I think it's going to get snubbed for some reason. I feel like 
for whatever reason they're like, "Oh, get out of here. You 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 get, get out. You've we've you've done we've done Final Fantasy to death. Get out." Uh Black Myth Wukong. I think, I, think I have I have I think looks, two looks so good. I mean, it, it it's I mean, I I'm I think I'm a little biased too. I just I just fucking those games are too goddamn long. I just can't. I can't do that shit anymore, dude. I just can't. I've I get it. I I get it. Fucking <laughs> I fucking get it. I I will play sixteen though, because sixteen looks so sixteen looks uh, like vastly different from. It, it looks way it looks way funner. I know like there's that platinum game a- aspect to it that kind of intrigues me, but I'm just not I'm not there yet. My backlog, man, my backlog. I'm not there yet. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'll probably yeah. be there in the in the fall. But uh, I will play back Black Myth Wukong. Shoot, that looks backlog. fucking awesome. That game looks awesome. It does look but, cool. Uh, yeah, so I think that Those one. That samurai game, I forgot. It's like, um, bro, Ghost Tsushima came out, and then now guy, all of a sudden like, everybody's like, like Raiden. "Feudal Japan's awesome," and I'm like, bro, it's been awesome for a long time. How come y'all weren't doing it? All of a sudden, Assassin's Creed's gonna finally do something, and I'm like, bro, you guys, the most obvious thing that they just avoided on purpose. To like, oh hey, how come? When are we gonna go to feudal Japan and be a fucking ninja? Nah, nah. And then that, now they're gonna do it because the ghost, because ghosts pretty much changed the game in that way. Or maybe, maybe not even ghosts. Maybe it was a little bit of Sekiro. Uh, but it just kind of like, what is this? It was, it was a lot of, of it. Sudden, I, mean, now, I think it was, I think it was, I think it was ghost. It was Sekiro. It was, it was Neo. Yeah, Neo was pretty good. I don't know, too. man. A lot of. Uh... It just kind of upset me that I'm like the shit yeah. that I've been waiting for because I'm a Damn. I'm a feudal Japan nerd, like a fucking it's like my favorite part of history, and then it just was constantly being disrespected. And I don't know why. In a way, what I mean disrespected is like people didn't really focus that hard on it. Even like uh, there was a uh, say Dynasty Warriors series versus Samurai Warriors. The Samurai Warriors series, in my opinion, was way better. But people were so like just jerking off the fucking dynasty, you know, of the of the of of China. That they kind of just eh, kind of pushed it away, like if it was a toy that you don't want to really play with that much. And I'm just like, y'all don't understand. This is so much better. And then people are like, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know, man. It's just me. I think it's just a me thing. I, I just, I'm just being, I'm just being a a little jealous bitch or something. I don't know. Oh, what's weird to me is that I don't know how you could ever really think China's cooler than Japan, like just historically. That's what I'm like saying. Like China's fascinating in its own right, but like the Three Kingdoms the are katana okay. Katana is from Japan. The katana is the, the most katana. famous weapon in history. I'd probably go as far as say, other than the gun and bomb, <laughs> the gun bomb katana. <laughs> I think that's what it is. That's a good point, though. <laughs> Could you name a yeah. famous fucking sword from um, from China? I can because I like swords. I can, I, I, I can name a famous Chinese weapon. COVID. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> well, what else happened this week? Let's let's move <laughs> yeah. on right right I, now. Like right now, let's move on. I have a. I'm point sorry, of... our Chinese sponsors. Please give us our money. Chris doesn't know what he's talking about. Chris doesn't know what he's talking about. Right? He has no clue what's going on in his head. He's crazy. Um, please yeah, continue to pay yeah. us. <laughs> they didn't make a, it. Uh, they didn't make it. Yeah, of course. You, uh, we, lost so, our, we lost our Disney collab. Thanks, Chris. I, Thanks, we lost the Disney collab. Thanks, I appreciate you. Disney collab. <laughs> yeah, after so. Disney collab. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you fucking imagine us? Oh my god, that would be such a waste of everybody's time. Like, now just Jen, the idea, no like let's make let's make snark tank skins for Fortnite. <laughs> oh god, we got a we got a snark tank sales Tencent do you think, game. How many how much um, revenue would we bring in? How many people do you think are gonna download snark tank skins? <laughs> nobody. Dude. I think no people would love to play as me in Fortnite. I think that'd be hilarious. I mean, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. We were like you a pair of slides on, like running my giant ass you're across just a, Fortnite. Like, but you're, but you're just, but you're, you're just some, you're just a black guy. You're just like you're not. Know, like, no one knows funny. you. They're, they're like a oh, black guy. <laughs> the new black guy skins out. That's it. Got the black. I would be fine. <laughs> I would be fine if if they just labeled us like that. If they labeled us like small Hispanic and like I like that black guy. Black guy. I think I'd be okay with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be actually. Pr- it it I may ironically Taller, blow fat up. Fat black guy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Tall black, tall black, short black. This is small, 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 
small short black, um, small black. I yeah, do. I before we get into questions, I want to do something really quick. I want to mention. Yeah. I want to mention the fact that it is currently there's like a crazy storm in Los Angeles right now. Crazy fucking storm. Like outside, it's fucking raining. It's 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 basically flooding where I'm at. So I want to do a little test, and we're gonna leave this in. We're gonna leave this in because I think it's important. Let's do a clap sync, and let's leave it in. <laughs> All right. Sure. Are we good with that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is how this is how we get this is how we get all the audio synced for the show. By the way, three, two, one. Oh wow! Pretty big delay. Pretty big delay. But the audio. I was. I was. I was. That was crazy. Oh fuck! Yeah. Hey, the audio will be all right though. It will be all right. It all even when there is somewhat of a fucked the, up delay. Yeah. As long as I sync it up, it'll, it'll it'll be it'll be okay. Only, yeah, yeah. There's enough room for delay too. It's it's fine. The the video right now as we're recording is fucking wild. <laughs> but I do, wild. yeah, it, it's it's really disorienting. I do want to mention the fact that like this is why I'm very very just ex- I'm just very excited to get to the point in the near future where we do the show in person because yes little things like this we're like oh it's raining too much so our conversation is compromised is so strange and annoying right. so like i'm i'm just so stoked to not have to deal with that anymore but mm. just wanted to point it out if anybody's like, if anybody feels like oh this episode feels a little off it's cuz it very much is <laughs> we're going to try and work with <laughs> what we got here uh we can't help the weather we want to get stuff out to you guys so Bear with us. It'll be all right. As we, It'll be all right. They'll, they'll, they've dealt we, with yeah. It, the, the the OGs have dealt with some weird shit before. Um, they they've put up with our asses. With uh, sometimes there had been some. Our old system used to be like a. I forgot what it was. It wasn't just completely a clap sync. It was like a one two three kind of a thing we were doing. I don't know if you remember that. It was like a a little bit of a delay. It's like like almost. Like oh, a I do delay. remember like that. One, two, three. It was kind of like that, and it, it was it was a bad fucking system. <laughs> it was a bad system, and we abandoned it. But yeah. uh, it was like yeah, some o- old shit. But people stuck around. Now let's let's talk about um hot guys or something. I I want to I want to fucking I'm, <laughs> so let's talk let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about real um hot men like um. Uh, Mr. Universe. I don't know if you guys... Do you guys watch uh, Mr. Universe or Mr. Olympia? I don't know what that is. I didn't watch Mr. Olympia this year. This is, the, this is like the third year in a row I've missed it, which is unfortunate. It's really sad. No, I went to it one time. Chris, you would never really you would cool. never watch that shit ever. It's just giant, oily fucking men posing on stage. <laughs> There's something so gay about it, it's not gay at all, which is crazy. It's a, no, it's, it's, it's 100% so gay. It's... It's so gay no, no, there's, that there's, it, there's something so gay about it. It's not gay though. It comes around and not. It's almost like a double negative. I don't agree. It comes of. back around like that's just impressive, dude. It is because it's really <laughs> gay. It is really the gay. problem is it's too gay. That's the thing, and then it, it almost like turns not gay. It, it, but it then breaks it's not. the barrier. Yeah, it isn't gay at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it called? Mr. So Olympia. Mr., you can go, Mr. Olympia. They look also divine. The, there's also the Arnold Classic, um, but yeah, Mr. Olympia is the that's the the, the Kingston, big this one. This is gay. This is all gay. Every <laughs> no, single image not. I'm seeing no, here not. is gay. It's not gay. No, it's not. I disagree. Every single image on this is gay. I disagree. <laughs> Mr. I disagree. And I can I can argue. I, in fact, I fact I know I can argue out of the point. Okay, go ahead. Look, look. Staring at men with barely any clothes on, oiled up, is extremely gay, right? <laughs> Right? Yes. Let's, let's, let's be real. Let's be real. It's yeah. something that a gay person would more often do than not a, not a straight person, right? But what happens is when you realize the amount of effort and 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 and, and diligence it takes to get to that form, it is just impressive that humans can do that to themselves. So it turns I mean, into is a it more really, admiration it- to like... It turns into more like looking at sculptures and being like, this is impressively sculpted. But the 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 canvas is their bodies. It's beautiful, in fact. 
everything that you're saying it's is not gay. gay at all <laughs> it's it's it could uh, be it could be it could be a gay activity. There's a Kingston, there's nothing I don't know why not. you're trying to skirt the issue. It's there's nothing wrong with it being no, gay. No 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 no. Really the really the thing is cuz I don't even I don't even think homosexual men look at that really. They like, don't. I don't no, they know don't. any gay person's like I look at the Arnold Classic and I love it. That's, that's the problem. Yeah, they know because it's <laughs> it's too gay. It's too gay for them. It. That's that's why. No, well, I think, think it's not <laughs> gay. I think it's ungays itself. <laughs> it's like look it makes sense. It's just like um, a lot of kids that grew up admiring bodybuilders would have posters on their walls and their dads would beat them up because they think they were gay. Like back in the day, that happened a lot, actually. But the thing is that what they're not paying attention to is like, look, is is are there, are, is their pee-pee hard? No. Like when you're looking at the Arnold Classic, is your pee-pee hard? I don't even get a twitch in there. Because really, as far as like w- what's something that is desire- desirable and sexy, that ain't it. That those mountain those mountains of muscle that shit ain't hot at all. Like I can yeah, look yeah. at a Henry girls, Cavill. Girls don't really want men that look like that. They'd yeah. be scared. <laughs> right. I can I can look at a Henry Cavill in Man of Steel and be like, God damn, like that's that's pretty good. Like and then maybe there's like zero point one percent of me where I'm like, Yeah, I get I I get, you know. I, I could go gay for this dude. Wait, zero point one percent. That's not whoa, true. Whoa, whoa, Derek. Fifty percent. Derek, Derek, fifty percent. Can I say something? Right? Can I say something? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I say something about the? Can I can I say something about these these guys that I'm saying yeah. in, in the Mr. Olympia Google images? I feel like this is like when I look at this, I think of like. Do you guys know who Brian Peppers is? Yeah, I he's think white of it like mouse that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, let me do you see. know who Brian Peppers I is? Like, I, I think. I, I think know. Ian Mopsong is like a white Brian Peppers. That's what I think, honestly. But I guess I mean th- I could be wrong. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that's that really is. confusing because that Brian Peppers is white. But yeah, I I I, I know that is. <laughs> God damn, I forgot about. Yeah, him, so dude. I get the same feeling looking at that that I do this because like this to me isn't it. This is more like a freak show to me. You know what I mean? Like these are more like <laughs> look at these freaks. Who've like pumped it, it, it? Like I don't, I don't believe this is due. I don't, do, I don't believe this is diligence or effort at all. I think this is all chemicals. But uh, well, no, largely, it's, it, it's, it, this yeah, is like a freak show. You have like to. these are just a bunch of like weird. This yeah. guy looks. Like, one of these guys looks like a fucking guitar pick. <laughs> so you gotta be it's roided up to get to that point. Well, yeah, of course. But you can't point, just take roids and then do that, right? You can't just yeah, pump you can't. your That's ass full of steroids and look like that. You have to I work. You could. have to work out for like six to eight hours a day. <laughs> please, like, like, yeah. please, like, I would love I to see watching, that. I remember watching um Brotherhood of Iron and stuff. They are like you think that roids would just get you this far. It won't. It will not turn you to what they are. They look at are this. Extremely Guys, come on! This bro. is a it's freak wild. show. It's a circus. It's like it's like look at the, what I just put in the chat. This is a circus thing. This is like the fucking, this is like when you see the bearded lady or the fucking, like a Siamese twin. Like, what the fuck? It, it, no, <laughs> the no fuck that's like when you see. <laughs> you don't like the wings, That's man? like when you wings. see someone, like, cut, like, it's like when you see somebody slap a boulder in half with their bare hand. And it's like, how'd you do that? No, because that's, that's impressive. unbelievable. This is just like, why'd you do this? This is like, well, it, why, why'd you do this? To, or well, like you when you see the, the people with question. like the, when they make themselves like, I made myself into a lizard. I'm a lizard. I'm a lizard. I, I put would, like little horns in his head and like, the cut their tongue and they tattoo scales <laughs> on them. It's the, the fucking, it's the same it's to not, me. It takes no it, effort. Like, you I, that, see, it tickles the, you what? see freak. That's why you, when you say, you see like, oh, I see a freak. I see a freak. I see like unbelievable discipline. It does. Right. That's a, that's what I'm saying. I it see, it like, doesn't take unyielding discipline when I look at that. Like unyielding. It, <laughs> yeah, if you're a lizard person, it takes just drugs to numb yourself and then cut your tongue and then tattoo yourself and then have things implanted in you. But to look like those giant freaks and I look at man, I of course those right. are freaks and they they literally they'll call themselves like genetic freaks and shit, right? Uh it takes like I said 6 to 8 hours a day at the yeah, gym. Yeah. It takes like it, it's just one of those things where it's like most people could not do it even if they wanted to because they don't have that insane drive to do it. 
And so that's why people kind of marvel at it. They look like superheroes, right? If they put on costumes, they would essentially have the bodies of superheroes. But why they look so stupid, especially to show off the definition of their muscles, they do this blackface thing, but all over their body, which makes it hilarious to me. Because like most of them are like white people, but they just put this bronze and stuff to make them look like they're black. And it's so funny to me. (laughs) It's like blackface, but on the body. It's pretty cool. All right, we we just uh, for those of you who are watching, uh, you might have noticed a bit of a cut. It's because we're trying to we had to restart because we're getting crazy delay on our end because California, well, for California internet sucks in general, but beyond that, just having a storm is really fucking us. And we've explained it already, but it's still there, so we're just gonna do our best with this. Skull Feiss wrote in. He says, not a question, but on a recent episode, y'all talked about a, about drugged candy, and it's mostly an urban legend used to scare people uh, and disconnect communities. But back in 1974, a man named Ronald Clark O'Brien tried to kill his own kid for insurance money. He went to jail because he gave his daughter and three other kids a giant pixie sticks. He's known as the man who killed Halloween. Cool? However... I don't I feel like there's re, there's a lot of context missing here because a giant he went he tried to kill his own kid so he gave he gave them a giant pixie sticks I I feel like I'm missing information I think the pixie sticks were like what is it full of drugs, they were, like were they laced with something yeah either. but like what drugs yeah I don't know maybe like coke or some shit like that or crack yeah but I think I'm like assume. stories Dumb. like that I anecdotal stories right are the things that spooked everybody. Even like say uh in the in the in the famous song Halloween by Misfits. Yeah. Um in the second verse it starts off with saying candy apples and razor blades. Like you know it's just like a thing that people would talk about and it might even have been just one isolated incident but it wasn't like this major trend, right? Cuz it, it's it but that's how it always happens. It always happens that way like Tide Pods you think about anything like that where there was like three cases of like a, two old people yeah. and maybe some kids that ate that shit and then that shit went viral. And then people actually started biting them, but they weren't swallowing them. They were just biting them like fucking retards. But uh, it, it, yeah, it's always feel like you, 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 you attribute it to that bullshit where I mean, I get anything, the satanic panic, just it, anything. One person did something and said they did it in the name of this or, oh, someone hung themselves or um, or whatever. And then, oh, I was listening to Marilyn Manson or some shit. And then all of a it's sudden. It's like that PewDiePie. It's like the PewDiePie thing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that shit was crazy, dude. It's like when, that, when that guy, that shooter said, like, subscribe to PewDiePie or whatever. Imagine That's being crazy. PewDiePie in that situation. That's like, crazy. Imagine what you imagine if someone was like. Subscribe to the snark tank and then they fucking did no Russian in the airport. <laughs> like I'd be like, Ugh. <laughs> I'd be like oh, oh, I man. would that laugh. Would be so... I would laugh until I was like <laughs> crying blood. I would laugh till I like, cry blood because our jobs crying either blood? our job just got so much more difficult. Oh, that would, would be crying crazy. blood like a vampire. At least I'd be we like, have this is nothing. So not good. <laughs> We, at least we have nothing. There is nothing in our four years that we've been doing this together that would say we inspired someone to actually do that. Like, they can comb through every episode, and there's not one time we're like, hey, you know what you should do? <laughs> you should, like, so I still feel fucked up over it, but at least I would feel like not like we were actually responsible. Just like I don't feel like PewDiePie should feel responsible for that fucking guy. You know what I mean? At least I don't. He didn't I don't do anything wrong, <laughs> right? I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Felix is yeah, ever he, like. That, hey, yeah, that was just a po- that was a, people. That was a popular meme. It's just some fucking edgy troll. Yeah, it, it, there's no way that guy. There's no way that guy was like, I wasn't going to shoot this place up, but then PewDiePie happened, and then like I just decided, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just felt right. Like that <laughs> wasn't the case. Gooder, you know? It felt more gooder. Uh, it's crazy. It felt more gooder. But yeah. Yeah, Pissy Six are anyway, fucking trash, by the way. On. Young Jedi wrote in. Who? No, I said Pissy Pixie Sticks. I said they're trash. Flavored sugar. Like, Man. <laughs> it's fucking trash. Yeah, Pixie Sticks are pretty Pixie Sticks suck. Like it's literally they're flavored not, sugar. They're, well, I, fuck would you I don't that? understand candy that's just piles of sugar. <laughs> 
They had a thing called Raven's Revenge, which was like a concentrated sugar in a way. Like it had the flavors and it had these little crystals in them and stuff. And it, it looked like science beakers, like a uh, little, are we, are, no, they're not called beakers, vials. Um, and like, they were kind of cool the way they looked, but it, rest assured, it was just sugar. Right, right, right. At least they look cool. I don't know. Young Jedi, Young Jedi 772 wrote in. He says, hello, Negrozoids Whoa. and your little twinkish white familiar. Experiencing true, ha- so this, this is a strangely, this is a strangely serious one. Uh, it's not, I don't know, well, I'll, I'll just finish it. Experiencing true heartbreak at almost 18, and I'm absolutely lost. Poor kid. Any tips? Oof. You're 18, you'll be fine. That's not the way to say it. <laughs> I know. That's not the way to say it, you asshole. It is. Fucking <laughs> 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 you dickhead. You're 18, you'll be fine. I'll, I'll give you this um, piece of advice, right? I'll give you this piece yeah. of advice, right? This is what I, this is what I learned, and people, people at the time all disagree with me, but... You will find someone eventually down the line that'll make all the pain you felt from your relationships completely disappear. He doesn't need to hear that right now. You'll be like, oh, everything you don't else need to hear is that right fake now. before you. Trust you don't me. Need to- it happens oh, he- to every single person. They don't need to hear that right now. They need to hear the now, not the down the line. Because I, I think most people can understand that they will be fine in time because they're probably their family no, members don't. have experienced no, you don't. loss. Yes, they do. Because their family members have experienced loss. People They've lost people in the family, usually old ones, grandparents, and they eventually get better. They understand that they will be better in time. They don't need to hear that. They need, how do I manage this right now? That's that's the that's the hard part. How do you manage the heartbreak right now? Right, and hopefully you like have hurt, hurt, hurt. I hopefully hurt you have a, to um, be like, it happens, friends. Bro. I hope you have a lot of friends, uh, or at least a handful of friends, because you absolutely should lean on your friends. And I would say, even though it's hard, because this thing called fake it till you make it, be with your friends as much as possible. And because you know you won't feel like it. Like when I when I went through a bad breakup a long time ago. I didn't really want to do anything, but just being around my friends distracted the fuck out of me. Even though I didn't really want to go up or get up or do anything, you force yourself to go hang out, and I immediately would feel better. Just just being around my dumbass friends, and if you like, you, if you don't see them in person, then jump on the discords or whatever the fuck, and just distract yourself until you start noticing you're thinking about it less and less, and then like then you'll be good. But like I was just saying, like Kingston, you're right about what you're saying, but it doesn't help hearing that while you're going through it. Like, oh, you'll be fine eventually. It's like, yeah, fu- I, I know, dude. I just, I, 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 how do I cope with this without taking a pile of drugs? Essentially, I think that's really the answer. The question, I mean, because a lot of people just turn to drugs. <laughs> They're like, just, just yeah. do mountains of drugs, and you'll forget for, about for everything. Me it's but. like this, right? Like, I, I, I understand that the moment. I you live your life hurting in moments. That's the thing. Like you live your life hurting in moments. Like I, you hurt yourself, you fall down, you scrape your arm, you cut yourself, you bleed, all that stuff. Right. What happens is that too many people, 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 love is a thing where you're like, I'll never find that again. Some people are like that. I'll never find love like this again. I love this person. I'm gonna be alone for the rest of my life. That's all shit people fucking say. For me, it's like you met this person, right, and you had this connection. But there are so many people you can find a connection with. There's very few times at an 18 years old, you find that person that is your partner that's meant to be your partner. I think you can, some people have definitely overlooked their partners. And it happens and it's unfortunate sometimes. But you're, you have so much life left to live. You'll find somebody that'll be like, oh, fuck that bitch, dude. Because I was the same place. At 18 years old, I was with a girl that I was on and off with for like three years already. By the time I was 18 years old, I was like, oh, this is probably person I'm going to marry eventually. And then when I was 19, me and her broke up for real for certain. We were done with each other. And now I look back and I'm like, I cannot believe I thought I really loved her the way that I love someone like Lily. It's fucking hilarious to me. That's life. That, that, like that absolutely dumb is retard. life. Thinking about that, it. That absolutely <laughs> is life. You know, like, I, I, I remember a like, episodes I, ago. Like, what? Yeah. Episodes ago, I, I once said, and you know, there was a little bit of pushback, but I was saying since there's 8 billion people on the planet, the odds are that you can always find somebody better than the person that you feel like who you're meant to be with. Just by odds. Not like you need to. You don't need to find somebody better. That's not, you know, it's just like, say, you find the perfect, the thing that is perfect for you, and then you can actually, it's like food, right? Even like that. You can find something like, there's nothing going to be better than this. 
uh, you can probably find something better than that eventually, but that's not the point of being a human. It is being content. And so the thing is, even though if you look back on fondly on somebody like that, I'm like, odds are, with the amount of people that are in the fucking world, you're going to find somebody that's going to make you, like Kingston, laugh about the, that person in the, in the past. Be like, I can't believe I was so heartbroken over this person. It should happen. You know, you're like, God. And you reflect. That shit is the most wild reflection ever. You're like, God damn. When you think about the people you used to deal with, like, I think about this shit all the time when I was younger and I was in my younger teens. And the girls I would fucking put up with. <laughs> now, now I'm like, I would piss at them. I would piss just start at, yelling at them. I would just yell at, at them. them. I'd be like, get the fuck away from me. I've never heard that before. They said, bother me, I just start P- peeing and start pissing doing perimeter. at somebody. Like, like you, don't come past this. <laughs> you, don't, you don't piss on them. You piss at them. You fucking fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> I didn't hit That's them, but it's, it's aimed toward them. It's aimed right at them. <laughs> yeah. Right, brother. Oh, and also, um, I, I would recommend this for right. anybody who's uh yeah, don't be pussy. Stop being uh, a watch watch the movie Life of Pi. I swear to God, that is literally the best healing movie, in my opinion. I, I anytime I watch that movie and instantly I feel fucking better, dude. It's just a great feel good movie in my opinion. So watch it like in repeat and then um and then also listen it's to good our fucking episodes. Film, man. Really... Listen to all of our episodes, um, and then you'll feel much better. Have Maybe. you watched Life of Pi, Chris? Have you seen that movie? Um, no, I'm not really that into like cooking movies, um, <laughs> yeah. or, or like things like that. You've I... seen genuinely six films. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Life no, of Pi. I've seen Life of Pi. That's the one where he's on the raft with the fucking tiger. With right? the tiger. Yeah. yeah, it's just a, it's just I, a I, I saw great it metaphor. It's a also long, visually long time stunning. ago, it's but I don't really stunning. remember anything about it. I think I was paying mm. attention. That, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I never been going on. I was watching like plan. I was like, wow. All right. So th- there's, yeah, there's your exactly. advice. Um, <laughs> get stop. Uh, stop being a bitch. Stop being stop. pussy. Damn. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 bitch ass. The sooner nigga. you stop being pussy, the better things will be. <laughs> Not for real. Hope. Hope you. Hope you. Hope you feel better. Uh, hope. Hope. Hope we can help uh, distract you. I in don't. this, in in these uh, trying times, Kingston doesn't because he doesn't have a heart. Yeah. This but, therapy um, session's worth the the, be, the, the highest tier. Yeah, fine, fine it's worth the highest tier. Bump up the uh, bump up your uh, your patronage. Thank you. Yeah, don't. That's so fucked up. It's also worth it's also worth noticing. It's also worth noting that it, I don't know, man. Kingston Kingston's not shouldn't be taking advice from Kingston because he's he's marrying a piss drinker. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking. That was so high school fucking mean piece of shit. <laughs> You truly did. Kingston can't tell you what to do. His his girlfriend drinks pee pee. Fucking. I just love the idea of Lily balancing All right, they were, five they were, gallons. Uh, what is it? They were made in a factory. Five gallons in one hand. You know those big five gallon jugs. Scarfing like it her down, just, dude. Just balancing like that is so impressive because that's yeah, heavy yeah. for me to just carry. Right? You just carry with one hand. It's so heavy, and she's just balancing it like. <laughs> That's sick. New merch coming soon. All right. What was the question? My girlfriend said, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, they were made in a factory, a bomb factory, wrote nice. in. Nice. says, hey, dumb, dumber, and Sweeney, uh, what is the weirdest shit you've... Oh, God, my eye. I got like a thing in my eye right when I was reading the fucking questions. Ah, oh, It's annoying. Uh, what is the weirdest thing you've seen happen in a public restroom? When I was 12, I had to use stat, what, the Stater Brothers bathroom. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Stater Bros. Uh, and they were, and there was this guy in the stall banging his hands on the wall while screaming little birdie, and it freaked me out so much I ran out. Yeah, that'd be fucking scary. (laughs) Yeah, I, I don't fuck, I don't trifle around with psychos in bathrooms. I have two stories. Crazy people in a bathroom? Like, no way. Like, yeah, a public bathroom? Like, I can handle... Them. I can handle crazy people on the street. I can handle crazy people in, like, a like a, like a an open setting and, like, re- a retail environment outside. But, like, the second I'm in an enclosed, like, very echoey location... Nah, dude. I'm I'm leaving. I'm re- recusing myself from this situation. Mm. So, I get that. But, yeah. So, Derek said he had he had something. I have oh, going two. To. There are two times one i used to work at albertson's i think in 2005 and there was a guy that we called the ship bandit because 
No, he didn't. He would, he would, um, at uh, random some days, we didn't know which Sunday, but it was a Sunday, he'd go into the bathroom and wipe shit all over the bathroom stalls. Just, just, just rub shit all over it. And it was like, fuck, like, this is disgusting, right? As you do. Yeah. And one time, I think I found out who it was because there was this dude that looked like the singer of AFI, Davey Havoc. He just kind of like, kind of rushed out of the bathroom really quick. And then there wasn't shit on the walls, but there was shit on <laughs> one of those, the toilet seat covers, like he was about to apply it. And maybe he felt me coming or something. Something. <laughs> he just rushed out. And I think I just, I caught him right before he did it. And that was absolutely fucking wild. And just recently in December, when I came up to Cali uh, to stay with Nikki. And uh, we, we uh, me and Jojo, we stopped at a, a, a rest, not a rest stop, a, just a gas station or whatever. And the um, one, <laughs> there was a fucking guy that had to be a trucker or something. He was eating a box of pizza in the bathroom on the sink, just eating pizza on the sink. And I'm like, what is happening? And then there was a guy grunting in the stall, like just grunting, like, in the type of way that, like, oh, I think he's dying. And then when he came out, he was wearing a robe. He was wearing a fucking bathrobe. In the same fucking setting, this happened. And I was like, I am so out of here. This is this doesn't seem real. This must be staged. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Dog, who eats pizza in the I have, fucking I have bathroom? One clo- I have one close to that. <sighs> I have Crazy. one close to that. It's not even close to the grunting and the guy came out of the robe is wild. But there was one time when I went to the bathroom. I was in I was in the Yonkers I was by the um, by the raceway. I was getting something from mm-hmm. like I think by Target or something over there, or we were going to the movie. Some shit was happening, and I was like, "Grandma, I gotta use the bathroom." I went to use the bathroom, and I walked in, and some guy was crying with his fucking pants up by the air thing. And he was like, ah, he was like fucking weeping and screaming. <laughs> and I ran the fuck, I just ran out. Like, grandma, let's just go. She was like, why are you so rattled? I was like, let's just go, grandma, let's just go. And we left. And I was literally for the next like few months, I was scared to use the bathroom by myself. I would literally awesome. like almost pee myself when I went out. Because the guy was just like, I walked in and he was like fucking weeping and yelling. And like I looked up, he looked at me and I just took the fuck off. That's <laughs> what you do sometimes, man. What I right. wonder what happened. Did he pour acid on his balls? Or something like, like I wonder what he did to himself. It happens, man. Sometimes you get acid on your balls. Yeah. Don't go to the bathroom by yourself. The, I, I feel like I have I don't know, I have a couple of experiences, but I feel like one of the, one of them is a is a very specific experience, and then the other one I think is is something that I think I feel like is a more ubiquitous experience that I feel like a lot of people have. When they're when they're when they enter a public bathroom, at least at some point in their life, or not even a public bathroom, but like maybe like a bathroom at school or whatever, I remember very distinctly, and you could tell me if this has ever happened to you. I'm pretty sure it has, statistically, I would imagine. I remember going into the bathroom at school. I don't remember how old I was. I might have been like third grade or something, or like second grade. I don't, I don't even know. Going to the bathroom, and then there's at the urinals. There is probably somebody. I don't know, man. In kindergarten. Pre-K, pants all the way down. Of course. Peeing in the urinal. Mm-hmm. Not understanding. Just not understanding that you don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, that sticks with me still because I'm just like, because I, I, I remember the last time I experienced that, which was way later than it should happen, where I remember I was in seventh grade and a fifth grader. Let's go. Was doing that. And I said something. I said, hey, man, you don't have to do that. I said those I said those words. <laughs> and he said, what do you mean? <laughs> and I, <laughs> left. The, I don't have to pee that anymore? Sticks with, that's, that sticks with me to this day. The other one. Oh, what do you that, mean? <laughs> The 
the other one the other one is one that I think just make it just makes me laugh thinking about it. I wish I could remember more specifics about That's it because so he he definitely said what do you something. Mean by that? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely said something in a way that like I wish I I. I I, it was so funny in the moment, but I don't remember exactly what he said verbatim. But I remember <laughs> I, I was at a bar, I think a couple years ago. This is probably like either like no no longer than two years ago, I think. And I went into the bathroom at a bar that a lot of our friends used to go to. And some of our friends still go to. And I went into the bathroom and then it. I think the urinals had over flooded or had overflowed on one end of the room. So it's like there's two there's two sides. There's two urinals on each side. You're kind of like your back is facing the other person's back, basically. Um, so it's like one, two, it's like one, two, three, four, basically. And th- that far wall was like c- full of water, urinal water and piss, basically. And the other side was fine. So I was like, I'm going to use the other side. I'm not doing that. And I heard some guy come in. He walks up to the urinal. You hear like the stu- you hear like the little splashing, and he goes, "Oh no!" <laughs> he and I turn around. He's in sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bitch. Good. He got pissy and it toes. Was so, <laughs> it was so hard for me not to like bust laughing. <laughs> It was so fucking difficult, but that's, I managed it. That's what that pussy but gets for that's, pissing in sandals. <laughs> fucking idiot. That's what that pussy gets. I've definitely, I've definitely. What are you doing at a bar with sandals? Like that's, that's so strange. Like people are training the shit. People are like in the, t- the stall, like fucking grunting, like. Dude. And I'm like, yo, if you're passing bowels like that, you got to go to a doctor. Like, actually. You got you to gotta get you some stool softener. You got to do something. You hard as shit. There's a lot of people that have the, I mean, just the some of the smells in public restrooms where I'm like, dude, you get, I think you have some of what, what that King Charles II of Spain has. Like, cause you, your, your insides are fucking like rotting or something. Go get your gut checked, people, for real. Bruh. A lot of like, people that have like a lot of like really heavy stomachs, seriously, go get your gut checked. <laughs> they'll tell you like you have something fucked in your gut and they'll give you shit to like, Literally cleanse your stomach and you'll lose weight. Actually, don't like do for that. don't do real. that. Don't yeah, do that. Don't no, listen no, no. to him. Let, let, let a quad boil in there. Bullshit. Forget it. Forget it's it. nonsense. Keep letting it bake. Your in, gut yeah. is fine. Leave. <laughs> leave. Your gut is supposed to be disgusting. Let it bake. Your let, gut let, is supposed to be let, gross. Let that xenomorph in your stomach fucking keep festering. Yeah, dude. So it fucking <laughs> jump out of your stomach in the middle of the night one day, bro. And I got. I got. I got to say. I got to say. You know, keep it. Keep it the same. Let it. Let it fester. But please do me a favor. If you're one of these people, courtesy flush, please, for the love of fucking God, I, I want I want you to keep birthing the xenomorphs. Yeah, always do one more flush. But fucking courtesy, you drop the load, flush it immediately, bro. In the pub, especially in, pub, in the in the comfort of your own home. If you want to let your shit just fester in the toilet, if that's if that's if that's that's fine. It's your home. If we gotta share the fucking stall with you, and you're just fucking just punishing the toilet, I in flush fact- that shit immediately, dog. God damn, please. Please do us a never favor, flush. dog. I never flush. I shit <laughs> I shit hard wherever I'm at and I fucking leave it there. And you know what? I'm a fucking breacher too. My shit breaches. So you know what? You're gonna walk into that toilet and you're gonna be like, oh, my shit's gonna be out of the toilet looking at you in your face. You're gonna have to deal with that. And you can't flush all of it because it's fucking solid. So guess what? Deal with my fucking breaching stone like shit in your toilet, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I kill <laughs> toilet bowls. So <laughs> preposterous. Dude, if you used our bathroom and I saw that, I would hit you with a bat. I would hit you with a fucking bat, dude. Like, uh, I'd be like, <laughs> so <laughs> disrespectful. A metal one. Me. If, I, if someone used the bathroom house and they're a breacher, if someone breaches in my house, I'm like, you can't use the bathroom here anymore. <laughs> Never again. Baseball, baseball bats are so crazy because it's like, they are it is just a weapon it is literally like it's just like there are people who like have baseball bats who have never played baseball in their lives <laughs> just because it's like yeah man i Why need not? a way to defend myself right Why like not? you don't do like i love that because like you don't do that with like tennis you don't like attack a fucking shooter with a tennis racket that'd be dope though. you know or like or anything like that it's oh it's just baseball 
Can you imagine hitting somebody so hard with a tennis racket that it cuts them in the shape of like the little holes in the racket? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, just, I can't. Their hands become cubed. <laughs> you can't. No. Yeah, it's it's like uh, it's like Resident Evil. Yeah, it's like Resident like Resident Evil. The fucking lasers. I can't imagine right, Minecraft so slicing somebody. No, I can't, Chris. All right, uh, Nye, Nye Time Janitor wrote in. He says, hello, zookeeper, and mo- whoa, <laughs> and monkeys. Whoa. Let's relax. That is preposterous. What a Let's bitch. fucking relax. Jan- he is a janitor, though, so it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that he's <laughs> problematic. <laughs> it's, a rough, it's a rough go. He's probably getting bullied by all those kids. <laughs> got a yeah, I would foot. hate to be a high school janitor. I would hate to be a high school janitor, unironically. I think that would be the worst prob that probably be the worst job ever. Outside of I guess like I don't know like a slave. Not really a job, more of an uh, occupation. But a slave. <laughs> yeah. More uh, yeah, a hobby. Yeah. This question is for Chris. How do you keep yourself how do you keep yourself cool, calm, and collected when Sweeney interrupts you every two minutes and constantly butts in or steals a joke that you're about to make? I struggle not hitting my wife when she does the same to me. Please give me some advice. Much love. That doesn't happen. What happens is the delay is what's frustrating. It's not that it's not that Kingston interrupts me because it's it's we, this is a perfect episode to bring this up, quite frankly, <laughs> because there's a massive delay. But it's not the interruption. It's the fact that like when there's an interruption, it's difficult. It's difficult to like um, it's difficult to play off of it. Or like understand when I'm supposed to stop because there's a delay. I don't. I don't really care that Kingston interrupts me. He can interrupt me as much as he wants. It's just it's so hard on a delay. That's really it. So my my recommendation to you is to never t- only talk to your wife through Discord. Yeah. Um, like never speak to her in person. Let the delay be there so that way you can let your rage really transform and, and take hold of you in the way that you clearly need it to. Uh, uh, if I could That's suggest my something, I would suggest your wife will leave you. If her interrupting you <laughs> makes you fly off, I'll miss leave. You can do better than that. The, whatever this person is, get out of there. You're in danger. Hey, it's, I think that's perfectly normal. You don't fly off the handle when Lily interrupts you? I don't. The only thing that Perfect. sets I think me I off saw it the other day. Ever, only that sets me off ever, ever, ever is when she tells me I did something I didn't do. That is my only trigger as a, as a couple persons, like, I know I didn't do it. He's like, you did this. I'm like, Lily, you got one more time to say that. Oh, and Kingston. then she stops. She knows I'm serious. Kingston, why are you coming on the kitchen counter? <laughs> no, I, didn't, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't, I didn't come on the counter. Who did it, Kingston? I don't know. We got to fucking do it. And then you fucking slap her. You slap the piss out of her mouth. It's crazy, man. I've seen you guys. I've seen that <laughs> shit. Pick up, pick up the couch and hit her with it. <laughs> slap the piss out of her mouth, bro. <laughs> That's so overboard. So fucking crazy. <laughs> Entire couch. <laughs> the idea of the idea of you guys walking up on my house, you see my house and me picking up my couch and flinging it at Lily, and they're just like, "Yo." So we're still it's, gonna go in, right? <laughs> you guys still, we're still come gonna in. Go in. <laughs> Like oh my bad guys yeah, sorry let me look at the couch real quick I get the couch it's the way that her. it's the way that certain it's the way that certain <laughs> physics out like sometimes you know how you play a game sometimes and like the physics will freak out and it, you'll be you'll like spawn on a box and then the box will fly across the room at like Mach ten yeah yeah that's yeah, how yeah. fast <laughs> you're th- that's how fa- <laughs> that's how fast you're flinging the couch at Lily it's like it <sighs> it defies reason <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my bad guys it's faster than that manhole cover so that got Whatever. launched into space when they were testing all those nuclear weapons or whatever. Wait, what? I actually don't remember that. The uh the when they were testing nuclear um there's like a I think they <laughs> so apparently uh when they were testing nuclear bombs like underground in like I don't remember where, like some desolate fucking place in the US. Um Los they covered it with a manhole and the explosion sent the manhole flying at like 150,000 miles per hour. <laughs> Through so it's basically like just this really fast fucking manhole cover flying through space uh, <laughs> to this day probably I, I mean I don't know, maybe not who know, who the fuck knows space is vast it might have exploded at some point you think it, it got nuts? Went it out bro- of orbit it like the atmosphere it, like it got that far like yeah. it went out of orbit and it's just going yeah, it's just going towards crazy. the Andromeda galaxy. And then at some point, like some alien niggas is gonna just, see this it's thing just going. fly it's past just going. his some, head. Some. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, imagine you're playing. Imagine you're playing fucking cowboys and Indians or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, some random like I don't even know, red light, green light with your fucking friends or whatever, outside, and then a manhole fucking crushes you at a hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> miles an hour from space, <laughs> from an alien civilization. Holy fuck! Red War. Oh my God. I feel like That's something. I feel like the Andromeda Galaxy is just Red exactly <laughs> like ours, except for everyone's colored like how they are in Doug. I think that's the only difference. So it's just like green people and teal people and shit. <laughs> That'd be so fucking frustrating. <laughs> yeah. I oh, man. I, I would be I so disappointed. Not, I could not in my heart of hearts really, really, really respect someone that was teal. I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to respect them. I'd want to, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't couldn't really I I don't think I can be happy with I would only be satisfied if I like if we found out what's going on if we could like peer into Andromeda right let's like let's say we get like this the the world's most powerful telescope that like bypasses the speed of light so it's not like we're looking millions of years in the past we're looking in the present right yeah we see a civilization like the only (laughs) thing that would make me satisfied is if that planet in the Andromeda galaxy is fucking animated that would be the on, that would be the only thing that would make me satisfied. I would not be it would have to look fucking animated to me. It would have to look so different from real life for me to value it in any way because if it just, if it's just ooh different grass. <laughs> fuck that. I don't need different grass. I don't need different leaves. I don't need like ooh look at this fucking high resolution fucking dinosaur with like eight legs running around. I don't care, man. <laughs> I don't care. I want it to look 2D from every angle. I want something to break my con- my concept of like how space That's works. Crazy. That's what I want. Like their actual reality looks I like want fucking it, I want doom. a world like Caillou where it only renders. I want a world like Caillou where it only renders if you're looking at it. And everything around it in the peripheral is empty white space. That That's is- what I want. That, I think Give me would, something brain busting. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it would do. It would bust your brain. <laughs> that would be too much. It's so stupid. Yeah. That's <laughs> so stupid. I'm crying. I'm crying is how dumb that was. You want- would be satisfied if you if you got to look at a planet on Andromeda and it was just a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, or it was whoa, just a more fucking life. Like, I could give a fuck. I know there's more life. That 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 much is obvious. But there, <laughs> but like the, but the idea would, that it would there? be like. Even and, remotely similar to us, but like we know there's it, life it would, somewhere. It would completely deflate any kind of interest. Really? Because because like yeah, yeah, it is the nearest galaxy. Like the odds of that, the odds of that are so astronomical that that the fact that there would just be civilizations thriving in that galaxy because then it would really change the game. It's like holy shit. So is there just fucking people in like almost all the I would, I would be only happy so I, would, going on I would be only happy I would be only happy if we could if we peered onto the surface of the planet and it was just a short little boy with an I'm with her shirt going like Oh like that at the camera. That would that that might be and interesting to me. Her, like that I could I could be okay with. You know? Just is something it like fucking Hillary Hinton or what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hlinton? <laughs> <Is it kid? laughs> That's the only difference. The only difference is people's names are <laughs> the first letters of their names are swapped. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the only difference. Uh, we cracked the code, guys. <laughs> we know exactly what's happening. Hillary, Hillary Linton. Hlinton. <laughs> it's it's Hillary. It's Hillary Clinton. Clinton came us on. <laughs> 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 Jinxed it. So stupid. Stuff. All right, let's fucking move on. This is dumb. It's a dumb. <laughs> Jinxed on Kamasan. It's Peric Dylan over there. Look at him. Peric, Peric Dylan. Uh, that is so stupid. <laughs> Peric is such a stupid fucking name, dude. Peric. Peric is a powerful <laughs> dumb name. Oh, yeah. oh God. <laughs> That's so stupid. We we the we got least it. interesting. Just objectively, <laughs> the least interesting. 
just the least interesting type of alien life we've just we've stumbled upon. It's just us, but with fucking <laughs> with our the first, first letter of our name, name swap. Just keep going. This is that so fucking stupid. So oh my fucking god. This okay. is the dumbest god episode. Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah, Peric Dialate is so Peric stupid. Dialate. That is so <laughs> stupid, dude. <laughs> my name is Peric. Anyway, let's move on. Last <laughs> question, and then we'll get everybody. My name is Peric. How's it going? Hope everybody's having a good night. Oh, my uh, name is Peric. Uh, <laughs> my name is Peric. Yeah, yeah, I'm Peric. So, uh, if you need oh, anything, god. you know, Twitter, you know, you know what it me. What's going on, guys? Very Stupid! Good. You're telling you're telling me, honey. Uh, nut. I'm not reading. I'm just not reading this name. I, I just please, just fucking, just please nut. write like, please write normal. Please write normal. You're telling me, honey, nutted on these cheer- Cheerios, but it's all one word, oh, so it just looks like a fucking oh, so mess. No spaces. He, he writes, "Hey, two balls." He. Yeah, he writes, he writes, "Hey, uh, uh, two balls and shaft. Take your pick on who's who. If there were magically no consequences for your actions, what are some of the most fucked up pranks you would pull on people? I really want to release a huntsman spider into an office space or something like that. Jesus Christ! Mm. I don't know, man. No consequences. If I could, if I if I could, I don't know if I would do anything crazy. I do think I would." I think I I've mentioned this before, but I would absolutely do it if there were no consequences. Where I would pay a lot of people to I would pay a lot of people to surround someone and just point at them at at any given moment in the day and scream "Wake up! Wake up! Wake up!" Uh, and I would do that for I, I would I would try to really make it really hammer that home, and they couldn't be mad at me because there's no consequences. So that would be my that would be my answer. That's my go to every time for this. I like it for any question like that. I like that. I like that I would a lot. Either... So I would either probably, hmm, I would do Hurry. murder pranks where I would like have people constantly get murdered <laughs> around other people and like really terrify the fuck out of people. Or I would, or I would, <laughs> you know what I would do? I would duct tape someone and I'd pour itching powder on them. I'd duct tape their limbs and I'd put like a lot of itching powder on their body. <laughs> And just watch them squirm and the fuck suffer. is itching powder? Is that real? Yeah, is that a real thing? Yeah. Itching powder, yeah. dude. There's like what plants the fuck is the purpose of that? To terrorize nothing people. other than what I said. No, but no, 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 no. Not not. What's the purpose of your prank? I mean, what's the pur- like? Who- no, 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 no. It makes you itch. What? That's it. Why? What would what would be the purpose of that? Like, why would they make that? To, to terrorize make people. Feel people. Why make a whoopee Th- cushion? You're not telling. You're not telling the truth. This isn't real. Itching powder, dude. There's plant. There's trees. <laughs> there are trees <laughs> that have cushion? like substance in them that will fucking make you itch. Like like it's just so people will just use that shit and then throw it on people to just make them suffer. It's pretty much pretty much it. We used to have that tree in my it's middle so school. What the fuck? Terrible. They used to have that tree in my middle tree? school. It was fucked up. Yeah, there was a tree that had this shit in it. If if you got it on you, you were fucking itching, like you were fucked. You were essentially fucked. <laughs> it was it was, and then people would pour it down your back. You know, they would grab the shit and put it on your back to fuck with people. It was awful, and it was like, what fucking cut this tree down? What the fuck is wrong with the school? It was crazy. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> Yo, this is so fucking crazy. I had I had no idea that this was this was even remotely a real thing. Uh oh, he's he's getting ideas. Itching powder. He's getting ideas. We gotta. They stop made him. this. We gotta stop him, dude. We gotta stop him. He's thinking. It's learning. Casey, Casey, what's going on with you? <laughs> Damn, you got Uh-oh. a lot of gray hairs. I'm laughing so much because I'm thinking of somebody getting itching powder to being like someone being taped up and itching and squirming violently. That's so yeah, they can't even. Can you imagine drinking that or like or like putting that in your? Can you imagine uh, consuming that? Can you imagine consuming that, having that in your like esophagus and stuff? (laughs) Yeah, it would probably be unbearable. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or putting it in somebody's flashlight. Like itching powder has no purpose other than to bother you. Actually, yo, that is monstrous. Putting it in a fleshlight is crazy. (laughs) 
fucking go into town. Like, oh, this feels a little weird. You put, then you put, then you put like aloe vera cream on there, and it's like a, a two for combo, two for one combo. <laughs> aloe vera and a little bit of tiger balm. It's itch while the itch you're happens. Good to go. You're good to go. You guys are reject all the tiger balm. I actually beat off a Bengay one time, and that was the worst experience of my life. Did you really? I or are you fucking around? Game. It was the most. The, the swear to God, swear on my life, I did. Swear on my life, such a terrible experience. That such is such a terrible, such a terrible experience, it's man. It's absolutely fucking preposterous that you would do that. That is, I've that is, never, I've never felt stupider in my life, dude. <laughs> It's, please let's get yeah, out of here this delay is driving me insane that. let's science go science made sense let's go it is yeah it is it is crazy all right let's let's get the fuck out of here uh let's get the fuck out of here uh sorry <laughs> really sorry guys. i just i don't know we have no it, it, control this, of it this, this time is, i'll clean up as much this as is possible genuinely like very frustrating uh i'm so i am so fucking excited to not have to deal with any of this you yes. know what i mean so just not have to deal with a delay I think we're going to get just some of the best shit. Th- th- that's kind of that's kind of the thing where it's like this period of the Snark Tank, I think, is like largely just it's largely dealing with a lot of stuff that we know is holding us back. And so there's a, there's a degree of frustration there where like because there's going to be all sorts of like great shit that we can do in person that we just couldn't have done before. And in addition to it just being like a more smooth experience for everybody. So, uh you know bear with us in in especially in situations like this where it's just like the elements are conspiring against us um but sometime in the near future we're gonna have a very very evolved snark tank and uh hopefully by i mean it's supposed to rain the rest of this week a little bit but like hopefully by the next time we record it won't be so fucked mm. um on our end for this yeah. fucking delay it's crazy um anyway Let's read the names and get the fuck out of here. When they're ready to calm me down, let me know. Let me know. What? You ready do it. Go? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's that's. <laughs> God, I, I, oh man, the, uh, the, I'm sad it ended, but I'm glad it happened, motherfuckers, after I put them in a box down under. Keith David is in Hasman Hotel. McJackal, uh, I, I shoved a bowling ball down my cock hole and need Governor Andrew Cuomo to suck it out of me. Gay Noirdwar goes, gluck, goo goo, gluck, gluck, wak, wa. I don't know, who, I don't know what the fuck that is. How do you how do you make the names longer? It won't let me. Thanks. Uh Jack the world's fastest Maori. It's the fastest, not fattest, you clown. Oh, sorry. Uh a realistic RTS game where you have to handwrite the letters in the families. Oh my god. Handwrite letters to the families of your fallen soldiers. There you go. Reverse Joker be like, I don't know how I got my sk. <laughs> Watching Chris suffer is so fucked right now. <laughs> I just don't. I re- so. Do you get that joke, guys? One more time. <laughs> do you get it? <laughs> Reverse Joker be like, I don't know how I got my scars. Because he's telling you usually, you know, I got these scars. Yeah, yeah. It's stupid. You yeah, should, it's, everybody in this, every, everybody, you are all. It, I it's, I have, I I understand. I understand that this is largely the rage from the delay impacting my mood as I go into this. But I'm so angry at every single one of you. You have to understand. Everybody <laughs> writing in with these names, I feel so untethered. You know how I started sucking <laughs> in comparison. Me. I don't know how I got this. Fun fact, there's a rat torture scene in Fast and Furious 2. Uh, Big Meaty Stinks. Andy, the man whose handies are S tier and dandy. Shorty got me smoking Kush Hobbit style. I am the ass gaper and I ride and I ride. I ride through my boy's backside. (laughs) I catch the loads coming out of this guy. All right. 
Heath only getting a warning for doing 120 in a 75. Oh, Devin sucking 11. He's just another gay hole about to be wide again. Uh, good night, old girl. I won't see you tomorrow. Uh, these shots hot, hit. These shots hitting like Ashley Babbitt. Digimon took Sweeney's libido. Uh, homeless trans femme who has a town inside her. Ovulation, uh, not ovation, you dyslexic retard. Uh, not saying evil words, but smiling them very loudly. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid. We smoke an Usain Bolt dick. Toby Keith, be like, I ain't as alive as I once was. Fuck it, carry on with the British slander. Sucks, uh, shit sucks here. Mr. Pants, Sween, I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly enjoy it if you dispose of Chris. Baller of the first sin. Spumba futters. <laughs> Gay trap to be like, pants down, I'll make you come. Hard cock, I'll suck off anyone. <laughs> um, that's pretty good. He would fucking nice. hate that. That's uh, we, what I love about that. We should do that. We should do like, that. We should do a trapped. Absolutely. That is uh, that is honestly a no-brainer, sincerely. Like, yeah, we, we should do that. That's a Let's good one, do I it. Think. Let's fucking do it like ASAP. <laughs> Pants down. I'll make you come. <laughs> yeah, let's do it ASAP. <laughs> Jolly old dipshit. Feel rich and save. Fixation on the bargains that engulf this store. Save money on our shopper. Save, save. Once had a cock up my up to my jaw. They said That's I wasn't cool. going to suck it. Topher cool. laser pistol. Switch. Cypher graph. P- gay Peter Parker be like, I'm going to put some dick in your mouth. Two mad six. Two mad six under. Uh, why do you fill me up, fill me up, butthole, come, gate me just to dig me down, dig me down, jerk me off until you burst my it's balls? It's a great song. It's a great fucking song, dude. <laughs> well, Gandalf drunk do. driving a Ford F-150 while the fellowship gets hot and steamy in the back. Ayo, my name's Colin Mortiardi, and I'm going to need a jug for all this squirt I'm about to produce. Never mind, mm. I'll find some some guy to screw. I fuck nothing but ass, but the ass of dudes. Dude, don't tempt me. With straight, remember I'm gay. I just nice. don't know what any of this shit is. <laughs> Comes in Ivy. I guess. Sweeney's superpower is being confidently wrong. Back to tank of cum. Caucasian container, the cracker bell for gays. Donald Trump burping on Tom's clit. Clamping. <laughs> Open your eyelids to come in their eyeballs. We found love in a homo place, Rihanna. She pipkin on my pip. A possum can't smell, and Chris is kinda right. Um fucking load. Oh Ooh. my god. The second page isn't loading. This is fucking exhausting. Just load. He's you not gonna make fucking it. puerile bitch. He's not gonna make it. Internet's He's fucked not- today. <laughs> Alright. You got a fat cock. I got a plan to bust in a queer. Been been working at a penis store. Managed to spray a little bit of cummy. Average clit energy throwing frozen turkeys off the interstate to create half-life zombies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just the hard R star coffee. The New York state police could gargle rancid cum sucked off to death by Mrs. Pac-Man. I can't stop paying my, I, I stopped paying my rent so I could be a real fan. Transform gremlin exposing Thank people you. with lactose intolerance and 90 million rodents of ionizing radiation. You should not been pen angelic DM. So take off your clothes, get your face on the floor. They won't leave you alone. They're elbow deep. Craig, the Canadian Richard fisting and the, uh, and the over the pants handy. It's your boy, Shawnee D, Ben and Jerry's Funky Monkey. I live in Philly, and everything you guys said is true. Also, look up Kensington Beach 215 on Instagram. There are human anuses that theoretically can fit a toaster inside them. That's not conjecture. That's maths. 3XO inventing a new sect of Islam where you get 72 fanboys after blowing up the bathroom, slurping, stroking, smoking, joking, and emoticons going like this. Uh, Drip MH, Lord of Homeless Drip. Joe Pesci killing Batman, putting his... <laughs> Joe Pesci killing Batman by putting his vault balls in a vice. Uh, Obi won't you blow me. Norwegian game dev now in a loving relationship. Nice. Congrats. Mm. Whatever. YouTube's <laughs> algorithm created a children's mix <laughs> for me. And the first song was You Got a Dick in Me. That's so funny. I Let's love that. Let's go. Himothy, Mc- <laughs> Himothy McVeigh. Uh, I'm going to steal your bones. They were made in a factory, a bomb factory. K- uh, Clayton Carmine's niece getting dawned on. Uh, Avi, eating box or playing Halo. I'm hungover either way. Damn. God. Bragging about fucking Chun Li, even though all she did was pound my ass with a strap on. Uh <laughs> uh Wage Slave 583, a gay from a gay sad a sad guy from Michigan. 
So uh, with you. <laughs> can I get a dick pic with your gray sweatpants on and one without? And can I get three pics of your dick in any position also? Uh, the Papini Brothers Emporium, bla- uh, black gay son, won't you come and thrust away the pin- thrust away the straight? Donk Donkerson, instant. Nice. Installing a faulty Neuralink in Chris's head that plays Thunder on repeat. You got to pay the troll to again. The boys hold gate six. I was behind on episodes, gents. Sorry. You want the fanboy essay audio only or video in any particular time and length? Uh, donating children to underprivileged human traffickers. <laughs> mm. Holy shit. <laughs> Give back to the community. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Nice. Numb, Lincoln Park. I have come, I've come so far. This is not even... It's Guys, you got to... I have come so far. It is in the air. Come so far. It's way over there. I don't even know what part that? of fucking dumb that what is. What part is that? Exactly. It's just like, it's completely. Like, why wouldn't you just do the chorus? It's, it's, it's strange. <laughs> I don't know. An evil lesbian search choose goose flow on uh, YouTube. Chris is a secret piss drinker. My girlfriend chews my balls like bubble gum. John Strickland. Uncle Ben's converted rice. <laughs> Merck's 1889 <laughs> can't stop won't stop jelk until my helmets pop mm. uh, first church of Keith David presents the piss drinkers versus the you yahoos the musical second church of Keith David featuring being better than the first church of Keith David pre Roz Blake 896 Logan has Logan Paul has been the WWE United States champion for over 90 days and has defended it fucking once everybody gay mm. fuck your buddy gay everybody fuck your buddy's ass fuck your man tonight Booker T apologizing for calling Hulk Hogan the N-word years later, only for him to reply that he's using it. Uh, he's used to hearing it. Little dish rag. Lost my job at Kohl's because they caught me playing with the mannequin's boobs. I'll ask him if he'll trash. Texas tater salad. Vince McMahon shitting on JoJo's head while Derek watches with a yoo-hoo. Uh, Sue Hulk. Tickle my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy. 24-year-old cum. Wicket 909. Jackson DuPont. Badly brave. Hugger Derek. Duck Hunt. The vegan necromancer. I, parentheses, I got consent. Aetherian. Brogerian punter. <coughs> Um, uh, Melfus won angriest crowd enjoying the view from the Dealey Plaza on the sixth floor and running out our list. King of haphazard. Woo! Uh, Dude, that was pain. Get the fuck bro, out I'm of sorry, here. Chris. I'm sorry, but it's all right, you, were, you were in pain. <laughs> come, it's fine. Come, I'm sorry. Come. I didn't eat either today, so that's probably that's probably it. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We'll be back soon. Hopefully, the back weather won't up, piss and shit on us. Your mom. Oh wait, no. Um, uh, plants down. Should, maybe. What's today? What's today? It's Monday. Today's Tuesday. So we should I feel like not we should Monday. do it. Uh, well, let's do the extra ammo tomorrow. <laughs> I don't. Tr- uh, let's hold on. Let's let's end the show. Get the fuck out of here. Go. Yes, get yes. out. Leave. Bye. Get out. Go. Bye. Leave. Get out of here. Get out of here.